hello guys i'm ahulur back again with another new video and at last they have launched it now you know i think you know from the thumbnail or the title i don't know if i will mention it or not whatever i will mention it no problem so at last they have beaten beat them like framer sites is now in beta mode they have launched it at first framer kind of replaced figma but though uh, figma can't be replaced to be honest figma is totally another level of design software but yeah they have uh, like uh, uh, have a very very huge uh, uh, muscle power or whatever like very huge uh, section of customers from the prototyping section because framer is a great tool for prototyping then they have framer motion library for motions in react obviously animation in react now they have framer site that is almost a webflow alternative to like like a great extent to a great extent because in this uh what they are claiming that they are basically replacing uh figma and waveflow together so i don't know how it gonna work but let's have a overview over it uh, let's talk then okay so okay though i am not a great backer of uh like a uh, framer tool like not framer tool like no code tools or low code tools still i am like i and not of webflow as well like i i don't like webflow because obviously it's a drop like drag and drop build, drag and drop builder for websites and we are hard hard code for android developers so there is always this kind of thing that you know, goes into our mind like uh, this shouldn't be done but here is a great thing so that's why i am actually sharing it so they are making uh, like creating landing page more easier this going to i going to lose a lot of job i know <laughs> shit <laughs> whatever still i am showing it to you uh, because yeah it's a great tool and you can see how easy it is like it's kind of like uh kind of like uh, what uh, our figma but for webflow is that make sense i don't know like this is kind of that thing okay so it is kind of like um, figma like giving you the interface like figma but it uh, works like uh, webflow yeah that's possibly it and here you can see the interface as well like the basic big framer interface that you can use always and uh, i have used fig framer before i find it little bit confusing because i am not a regular user of framer though uh, framer is great for actually creating prototypes and uh, figma totally sucks at prototyping i don't know why like prototyping i mean like connecting dots like connecting uh, a button with a screen and animation and all figma totally sucks at it because in figma you don't have the control to connect component to component to do animation or you may have i don't know but whenever i have designed i didn't find it out so totally sucks for me so but in framer things are different like they are kind of like taking the approach of xd and like increasing it to a certain level that no one can like actually go up to there but yeah they have uh, like limitations of free plans in figma i am in education plan so that's kind of works for me as i am getting it for free whatever and simplify your stack no dependency on front end services no more tickets like i don't know why they are replacing front end engineers whatever it replaces sketch a vs code then uh, github and netlify what the whatever uh, 
but still you're gonna need developer in some point of the time to create website that are like hyper reactive and have lots of customized things so those will be obviously there forever but that's not the thing we are discussing today we are discussing about no code tools now i am saying it again it is totally against my laws still i am saying because like you you would like it like my audience will like it that's why and as you can see it here easy documentation that's basically about it and they have some of the uh, templates uh, as well for you to get started with now it is giving everything for free right now but i don't know how long it will be free because there will be a price bracket obviously in future because there has to be because no one provides this kind of a service for free but it's kind of great that you can taste those things right now for free and another thing is yeah you can go like uh, use the uh, framer plugin uh, in figma to uh, control all of those things like make your designs and import it to your framer then publish it as a site so yeah that's also possible so one thing can happen that is lighthouse core is amazing wow <laughs> whatever now one thing is totally possible that when you want to share the prototype like still we have prototype sharing link in figma right so that's also doesn't make sense but if you want to like share kind of a prototype kind of thing in a site kind of a format then it's useful obviously whatever so this is the thing and like not like they have uh, they haven't kept in mind of performances that's why lights us lighthouse core is 95 so great and fully responsive like i have seen multiple platforms that make such kind of drag and drop uh things drag and drop website builder but they fail in responsibility responsiveness or they perform less or they have like buggy codes or they uh, like jam pack the code this much like there is no like simplification of the code that is a kind of problem as well so i think in terms of that they have created something great now that's a great thing and they have integrations as well so spotify stress pilot and shopify so i think we're gonna see a lot of change in e-commerce environment shopify based e-commerce environment soon so that's also a great thing then lottie files youtube instagram twitter twitter they have twitter also then gumroad as well so hmm let's see what happens like if they have twitter they can do like lots of things in simple cast whatever i will obviously try it once yeah once why not once actually and then we'll see how it works and all <laughs> still i am against it so sorry but still i am against it because i i obviously you if you know me that i i am a front end developer and it's basically taking my job <laughs> so i will be kind of disappointed but still it's okay like when you have a quick work to do you can totally use it then later on when you have the resources to pay for a front end developer you can give them it and change your whole site that's kind of a thing that can happen so whatever that's it that's it for this video right now nothing else i'm not gonna elaborate it because it's not a tutorial get started with a platform then you will know how it works like i will also try to be honest i will also try making one website with it and then see what happens how it goes and one thing that they haven't mentioned yet like uh if custom domains are available or not i i think custom domains are obviously available like as 
here are some of the live site that is available over here that they are they have custom domains obviously uh but i think the price model gonna be the, if uh, i have like i would like to have the custom domain then i have to pay for it i don't know how the pricing plan pricing plan gonna be but let's see how it goes okay so that's it for this video they are in the space now we flow where in the place for like over over some years right over me yeah over some years i am like hard hearing of the flow now they are also here let's see what happens we're gonna change a, we're gonna see a lot of change in this no good place for sure for sure so that's it for this video actually nothing else let me know if you like my videos in general uh or not or if you like it and uh, then please do subscribe to my channel and if you know about some of the great tools like this no code tools as well yeah please let me know about them as well so i can feature them in my future videos so bye for now